It's um, 2 p.m. on 8-25-20, August 25th, 2020. Um, it's the Council on Aging uh, meeting for the month of, of August. Um, I'd like to welcome you all. And Donna, would you mind doing roll call? Of course. Ben Aldridge. Joel Debutard. Here. Here. Virginia Jessman. Here. Lynn Murphy. Tracy Scahan. Here. Joan Unger. Here. Oh, Joan Unger's here with us. Good afternoon, Joan. Thank you. Kathy Walsh. Here. Arlene Wright. Here. And myself, John Bell. Very good. Thank you for the roll call. You're welcome. All righty. Um, what we'd like to welcome you all. Um, Lynn could not be here today, so as vice chair, I will be chairing the meeting for today. Um, we will go through the regular routine um, and just saying hello to everybody, and we'll start by uh, someone approving the minutes of the last meeting. Yes. Anybody got any questions or concerns about last minute's meetings? Last meeting minutes, rather. <laughs> no, no questions or concerns about July's? All right, nope. can I have someone I'll make a make motion a... to we, I'll make a motion we accept the um meeting minutes from July 21st, 2020. Oh. And Joel, did you second it? I did. Yes. We'll second it. Who um who accepted the meeting? The minutes first? I I, I made a motion. I made the motion to accept them. Kathy? Is that Kathy? Yes, I'm Kathy. sorry. Kathy Walsh, sorry. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy. I'm playing with my computer here, trying to get online. Okay. And Joel seconded it. And Joel seconded it, right. Now, do All we those have in favor of the minutes as read and no concerns, please indicate by saying yes or aye. Aye. Roll call again. Mm -hmm. Joanne Aldridge is not here. Arthur Costa is not here. Joel Debutard? Aye. Virginia Desmond. Aye. Lynn Murphy's not here. Tracy Scahan. Aye. Joan Unger. Here. Kathy Aye. Walsh. Here. Yes. Arlene Wright. Aye. Yes. And myself, Donna Bell. Yes. Okay. So the motion to accept the minutes has been approved. Okay. All right. Um, calendar of events or announcements, Jan? Um, well, I'll let Diane do the calendar if that's okay because she puts it together. Okay, so you'll do you have any question. questions on it? Or you didn't see it yet, right? She didn't send it to you. That. Okay, so I'll let Diane just talk about it. Okay, okay. so um, everyone has had so much fun with Telebingo. Today was week 10, the last day of our series. And yeah. friends of the elderly have volunteered to sponsor the prizes for another 10 week session. And the COA is gonna, uh, we have the um, supplies already. So um, it'll be free to participants and we're gonna do another 10 weeks. It's gonna run from the second week in September till November 17th. Um, they'll, it'll be every Tuesday, excluding the two election days. So we're excited about that. People are really having a lot of fun with that. So that will continue um, for another 10 weeks. Um, we, the, we still have our tele-knitting, tele-conference on Mondays. We, yep, I don't have that on the calendar yet, but the peacemakers um, are doing a teleconference call. So um, that is happening also. We are... Um, continuing our series with the virtual paint party and that is shown on cable TV twice a week on Mondays at 6 p.m. 
and on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Uh, I participated in the first one. I, I uh, purchased a kit and I wanted to, to paint along and it was really fun. And um, people are enjoying that. We filmed um, artist Barbara Antonoro, one of our senior center members, and she did a pastel painting. And that's going to be uh, shown on cable TV in September on Tuesdays at one o'clock beginning on the 15th of September. Um, we've started um, a, a very small, it hasn't started yet, but we're planning an outdoor Tai Chi at 9 a.m. on Fridays in the Healing Garden. At some point during December, the telemedia department is going to film that so that people will have the option to come to the Healing Garden or do it from home. And then of course, if we have bad weather, it can be done at home, watching it on cable TV. September, we're doing another craft <laughs> class. It's a mystery craft class. It airs on cable at 10 a.m. Uh, we finally uh, filmed Joan Lawrence doing her meditation class. That's going to be seen on TV, cable TV at 11.30 on Fridays. And we're continuing to have the blood pressure clinic twice a month every second and fourth Friday of the month. So um, we definitely have gotten some new membership. People can sign up online through my active center. Um, I've had people calling me excited about the virtual programming and participating, even folks that maybe, you know, haven't swiped in here at the center for, for over a year. So we're really excited about that. Um, our Brains and Balance class will be finishing up that series on September 9th. And Jan and I are in discussions with um, that gal to possibly do another series. And she has also provided our telemedia department with a video series for a nutrition for active agers. We don't have a time frame for when that will be shown. So I think we'll probably be able to report on that time frame at, at your next meeting. And I, I think that's uh, everything we've, we've kind of got firmed up right now. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Any questions? Um, some of them I. Oh, sorry. Joan? I'll I want to say. Minute. Okay, and I want to say that I love the bal the uh, balance and rain class. I love it, and thank you yeah. for doing that. And I'm so glad that you made me do it. It's, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very good. Um, Diane, when will the brain imbalance begin again? So we're in discussions with um, the instructor on that. So we don't have a set date yet. No time but yet. We can okay. advertise it in the September newsletter so that people that are interested, we can start gathering a list of people interested and be working on a date at the same time. Okay. So Jeffrey, did you have anything you wanted to say? Um, I will. Just some of the stuff, Diane, it was kind of staticky. So um, she mm -hmm. mentioned something on September the 15th, but um, we have a meeting schedule for that day. Is there's no conflict of times, is there? I don't know what she mentioned for September 15th. No, those, it, it, no. It's just like today, I have, I've, I've, we've done a really great job. Uh, Linda Brabant has been helping call bingo. And um, so we've kind of got that squared away. So yeah, no, it shouldn't interfere with our board meeting at all. Okay. Yeah, Joel. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. Joel. Nothing, I was just trying to adjust the volume on my set. Thank you. Oh, I thought you were waving to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, any, questions or any further questions or concerns or comments regarding? Okay, thank you, Diane, for that. Um, director's report, to Jan. Sure. Um, so we did have, while I was on vacation, we had a uh, main line break um, in around the kitchen area. So Diane and Courtney called Vinnie Bowmill to come over and um, they had to have a plumber come over and repair the problem. So um, that's been resolved. Um, the American Red Cross had a blood drive on August 8th. I let them in and locked up after them. They used both halls. 
the halls were closed off to the rest of the building. It was locked so that they couldn't um, go walk around the building. I had Dave and Marianne from Dave Does Windows come in and clean the building after the day after. So they were here on a Saturday and um, Dave and his wife were here on Sunday cleaning the building. So it was all ready for the um, staff to come back in on Monday. Um, they had a goal of 25 donors. They actually were 25 units. They actually collected 37. That translates to the Tewksbury Senior Center helping to save 111 lives. So I thought that was really good. And they are actually here today. They're here from two to seven today um, doing another blood drive. And we are hosting one more um, on September the 4th. People can sign up to do that through the American Red Cross website, I believe. Um, the, so Diane already talked about the telebingo um, thing and the paint night. The only thing that I will say is that I did hear from another instructor who wants to do some um, painting, uh, Nancy Nastasi, and um, we talked last week. And I think she's going to uh, hold off a little bit and let the brush strokes people do their paintings and then we'll come in in the wintertime with some more um, programming towards that. Um, and let's see, Diane already talked about a lot of these things. Um, I will say that I've shared a lot of videos on Facebook. Lately, I shared the laugh circle from the library. Um, and I also have shared some uh, exercise classes that the Drakett Senior Center outreach worker does, and people seem to uh, appreciate that. Um, so we've done that. Uh, as far as outreach goes, I've done some fuel assistance applications with a couple of the seniors that needed help, and I'm, you know, available to do that on an appointment basis here at the Senior Center. Um, I've been working with the fire department to secure some Knox boxes, so we did finally solidify that last week, and I just need to come up with some criteria now as to who um, is eligible to receive those Knox boxes. We purchased 10. Um, so, you know, if anybody has any suggestions in that regard, you can email me. I'd love that feedback. Um, Jan, I'm, Jan, excuse me. I'm not sure. understanding. Are you saying lock boxes? Yeah. They're called Knox so. boxes. And they go on the outside of an individual's home so that I would think that somebody who lives alone and doesn't have um, somebody who can answer the door if they okay. fall or have an issue in their home. One of the, the key to enter into their home can be in the Knox box and then the fire department can access the home access if they're in, you know, in a situation if they dial 911 and they need help. Um, okay. I'm also working with the fire department to develop other programming that would benefit the seniors. And um, I'm just working on that now with them. Um, fire safety month and that sort of thing. Um, September is falls prevention month. And I we did a little bit of um, education in the newsletter about that. So um, hopefully people will um, take advantage of that information. Um, I'm working with a company called Deterra right now to purchase some drug deactivation system packets. And we'll have those available here at the Senior Center if um, people have prescription drugs that they want to um, dispose of. The packets look like this. And this is a large packet and it, um, it actually deactivates 90 pills or I forget like so many patches or so much liquid. I forget the exact um, ratio. Oh yeah, 90 pills, 12 ounces of liquid or 12 patches. So I was going to purchase um, a bulk of these and then a bulk of the medium sized ones that do 45 pills, six ounce of liquid or six patches. And then they'll be available here. People want to call. Um, you just fill them halfway with water with your pills and um, then you can dispose of them in the trash. So then you don't have them hanging around the home. 
you know, you don't have to go to the police station to dispose of them. So um, I thought it would be a good um, program to have. We've received some boxes of shelf stable food um, and some boxes of frozen ham and cheese. I think it's deli meat and cheese. Um, that's in our freezer right now. So we'll be able to give that out to anybody who needs um, any kind of assistance in that way. Our uh, finances are in good shape. I'm sorry, Arthur, it's not here to talk about it. I did. I am now. Hello. Oh, good. Oh, good. I finally, I'm sorry about that. I just couldn't get on. Oh, that's okay. All right. So Arthur will be able to uh, talk about that. But we are using the ESMB grant that we did receive to fund a lot of the outreach and nutrition programs that we're coming up with. Um, and then finally, the agenda for the next meeting will be due to the clerk's office by September 11th at 2 p.m. I want to make sure I made up my own little calendar so that I can't mess up the dates anymore. Um, so by September 11th, um, by two o'clock, because the meeting's on Tuesday. So by Friday at two, we have to have um, any agenda items into the chair. And um, that's it. That's all I got. Thanks. Thank you. That's a lot, Jan. Thank you very much. Any questions on Jan's director, Joel? Uh, Jan, yes, I have a question. Uh, sure. With the lock boxes, who yep. is the custodian of the um, combinations for that? So the fire department has a master key to the Knox boxes. They will so be it's the not custodians. a combination. It's not a combination. It's a key, I believe. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. um, any other questions or concerns with the director's report? Hearing none, none. we accept it. Um, I'll make a motion to accept the um, the director's report. I second that motion. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Can you guys see me now? I'm locked on here. Can you see me? No. No, I can't okay. see anyone either. Yeah, Let me can't see what see says either. connecting my it has my I can see you guys now and down below it has my name with the phone. Okay. Just curious. If you it's okay. Can, I'm just try the camera what? piece, Kathy. The what? A little camera. Is there a little camera to put you on? Nah, it's okay. As long as you All can right. hear me, I can see you guys. I'll figure this out. Um, do we have to do a roll for your report, Jan? I can't remember. I mean, I think the, no. Okay. I didn't think so. Okay, but no questions or concerns. Okay. Um, Just great job, Jan. Thank you. All right. Arthur's on the phone. So, Arthur, would you like to give us a financial report? I'm going to give you a basic one because I just have the report in front of me now, but I'm still looking at it to figure out how it works. But what I can see is that the 250 that we receive is being used through everything. And that's almost okay. gone from what I can see, but now we get another one coming up very shortly. Is that correct? Yes, I no. believe it's... Um, no? Is, is the, the 250 the revolving account, Jan? That's the revolving, right? Okay, let's yes, so. this question. So the revolving account starts every year with $250,000. It's okay. that's what's in there. And I think where you're getting confused is that the revenues are a minus in that system and the expend and the expenses are a plus. So what oh, we okay. So we're really only um it's really only $1,652.70 that we've used out of that account. That's and it. So, yeah, we yes. Okay. We so take money into that. Right. So the the numbers that start with four are the deposits, and the numbers. So it's three zero two nine four three six four three six zero one. You know, those are all deposit accounts. Okay. That's where we take in money and we deposit it into that account. And then the expenses are all the five numbers. So 30295130. So if you look over into the um, 
actuals, you'll see that under trips, there's $2,228 that's encumbered. That's a purchase order that I have sitting out there for a trip that we have scheduled for November, but you know, depending on COVID, we more than likely won't be able to do that trip, but I just left the purchase order up just in case anything changes, um, you know, by some miracle. Um, the other expenses are things that we've spent money on. For instance, before we had that ESMB grant, I was buying the um, items for the paint night and for other activities that we were doing. Um, so the $668 were for outreach items that we did um, that would be eventually will take the money from the grant and transfer it into the revolving account. So that those expenses will be covered under the grant. Um, there was the fitness money was spent for yoga instruction. So that that's just the amount of money that we've spent so far out of the revolving account. Okay. Yes. Yes, Joel. Um, I'd like to make a recommendation that Arthur and Jan uh, take it offline and Arthur can learn about uh, the budget items with her and come back with a report next month on this. So I'd like to make a motion that we uh, suspend the financial report until Arthur has a little bit more time to work with Jan and understand how the system works and then okay. bring it back to us, please. So that's a motion. Could I have somebody accept the motion? Joan Unger? I'll accept it. I'll accept the motion. Somebody to second? Hey, I'll do the second. Uh, uh, Aline did the second, Arthur. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay. All in favor of moving the financial yeah, report do. offline to Jan and Arthur to get together? You have, hey, you have to do an individual count. You have Donna. to do an individual count. We are. We are. Okay. I just was giving them direction. Okay. Donna, Thanks would you mind time. doing the roll call? Yes. Okay. Joan Aldridge isn't here. Arthur Costa. Yes. Joel Debutat. Joel? I vote yes. Okay. Virginia Desmond. Yes. Lynn Murphy. Oh, she's not here. Tracy Scahan. Yes. Joan Unger? Yes. Kathy Walsh. Yes. Arlene Wright? Yes. And myself, Donna Bell? Yes. Okay. Martha, thank you for that, and we'll get our full report next uh, meeting. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Um, so, just let me check my little things here. We'll move on to old business. Is that right, Jan? Yes. There was nothing on the agenda for old or new business. Okay, the only thing that I would like to bring up as old business is I'd like you or Diane to speak to the fact that you're going to be doing a volunteer um, appreciation handout this Friday. Uh, yes, we purchased the volunteer appreciation gifts um, through the formula grant and we just haven't been able to schedule a time to be able to hand them out, um, but we are handing them out this coming Friday and invitations were sent because there's so many volunteers we wanted to schedule it so that there was only so many people coming at any one time. So each person um, received an invitation with the time that they should um, come to the senior center and receive their gift. And the, um, the determination of who would receive a gift was people who had given 20 or more hours of their time to the senior center from last July 1st until I think we printed the list in May. Jan, do you need help giving those out on Friday? I don't think so. I think we are all set. Okay, I'm available. Thank if you, need you help. though. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you all at the center for uh, doing this volunteer thing because the people appreciate getting their um, thank yous. 
and I think yeah. we'll have more volunteers when we are able to appreciate what they do for us to keep our center going. So thank right. you, Jan, and uh, and Court. I mean, we want to thank all of you, including the board, for taking the time to help us here at the Senior Center. It's very important, especially now, to get your help and feedback. So we're always appreciative of that here. And there's no new business. No one's brought anything up. Excellent. No, I, Jenny? Kathy? Yes? No. It's oh, a Joan. Joker. Do, are we, do we know if the selectmen have chosen an, a person to replace Bob? At present, they have interviewed two people. To, and in September, they will in, make that decision. So at present, there are people looking at that position. But at present, we don't have anybody acknowledged. So there will be a new member at our September meeting. Anything else? Okay. Nope. I'd like to just say, Jan and Diane, you've been doing an awesome job, um, and we're grateful for everything you're doing down there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Joel? I'd like to uh, second what Kathy said. Uh, you're doing a great job in the office. Thank you. And uh, with that, I'll make a motion to adjourn if there's no other business. Okay, a motion I'll to adjourn. I'll second your motion. I'll second the motion. Kathy. Okay, Kathy seconded. Don't we need it first? <laughs> Does Joel, you the first? Joel, Joel. first. Joel, Joel made the first. first. Okay, I, so I'm a little rusty, Joel. Bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joel did it and Kathy seconded it. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> Um, you don't do have a to roll. do a roll. Rusty. Do a roll? Rusty. You have to do a roll. <laughs> okay. Um, you're getting your work out today, Donna. A roll, please. Yes. Individual. Okay. To adjoin the meeting. June Aldridge, she's not here. Arthur Costa. Arthur Costa. Yes. yes. Joel Debutard. Yes, adjourn. Virginia Desmond. Yeah. Yes. Lynn Murphy's not here. Tracy Strahan. I mean Scaham. Yes. yes. <laughs> Joan Unger. Yes, and I want to third what Joel and Karen and Kathy said about Jan and Diane. Okay. They're wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Kathy Walsh. Yes. Arlene Wright. Yes. And myself, Donna Bell, yes. And Arthur Coster is here. Yes. Yes, I am. Now, okay. So how do I put him in? Is coming in late or after the meeting started? Uh, we just put him in. He came in after the meeting. Okay. That's all, right? Yeah. Bye, Bye Joel. Bye, no, Joel. No, it's, wait a minute. It's not after the meeting. It's after the meeting started. Yes. That's what we after said. the meeting started. Yes, you said after the meeting. <laughs> I said after the meeting started, Kathy, but that's okay. We're all going to get hearing aids soon. Gotcha. Bye. Now, Thank can you I all for coming. A... See you in a month. Can I just make a Jan, statement? Jan, I'll talk here. Want... Okay. Yeah, I'll Kathy, I'll... Like... That sounds good. Wait. Wait. Thank you. Kathy, cutting out. Go ahead. I just wanted to say welcome, Tracy. We're happy to have you aboard. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, all. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye. Thank you. Take care now.